Okay, hello, hi, this is Ryan Ahmed with you, and in this video I'm going to uh, demonstrate this binocular that's beside, uh, behind me. Okay, it's a Sakura uh, binocular, uh, a zoom binocular, uh, works from 30 times to 260 uh, uh, times the zoom range, and it has a, an aperture of uh, each, uh, each glass in the uh, each lens uh, in the uh, in the front of the binocular, okay, as we can see, is 180. Now, both together, I mean, see both lenses together. Each one has an aperture of uh, 80 millimeters, okay, that's they are, okay, and uh, also, uh, this is the uh, sizing of the binocular on the binocular itself. And also this is a Sakura uh, trademark. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is to test this telescope uh, this binocular. Uh, if you look with me, there, there are two uh, palm trees in the middle of the screen, the video. And you see here when I make a zoom, okay, there's a mosque, okay, coming to the center next to the palm tree. There's a mosque, mosque tower, as you can see. So I'm going to use this mosque as a test on this binocular to show you the zoom, okay. Now we zoomed out with the phone. Now what I have here is a Celestron XYZ uh, telephone mount, okay? I really advise you to get this uh, mount, uh, seriously, okay? It's very nice. Now, we're gonna move the, move the dials of the phone. Not the phone, there are dials for the mount itself, so it can help me move the, uh, uh, the camera in front of the binocular. And you see here, this is the, the mask. Okay. Now, I have, like, this is the only proper way to get it uh, on the, uh, using this uh, mount. Okay. Even if you find some uh, some uh, some other way, but it's not that much that you don't have that uh, flexibility to install the uh, mounts on the uh, binocular. Okay. Now we go. Now this is only the Z like uh, no zoom from the phone. Uh, now we're gonna zoom with the phone so we can see the whole view. Okay. Or let's see if before we use the phone, I'm gonna use the uh, zoom, the current zoom from the uh, I mean, the, use the zoom from the binocular, okay, from the dial of the binocular. Uh, it has a now it's on the 30 times. I'm gonna zoom using the, uh, the dial and it's 260, okay, and of course, zoom has increased, that's why you'll see the, the aperture closes and see now the, the mask we get okay now we're gonna zoom back zoom out like it was okay now let's zoom with the phone on the 30 times of the binocular Okay. Now let's zoom. This is the full full zoom. Four times zoom from the phone. Okay. Now we're gonna go with the 260 from the uh, binocular while the zoom is on the phone is four times. Now of course you need to focus it. Maybe your phone can focus it for you with autofocus like this. Okay, if not, you will have to use the focus from the uh, binocular. Okay, so I'll have to use the focus from the binocular. 
Yeah, it's uh, not what. Not what. Good. So. And yeah, see. Now let's zoom out from the from the bino. Okay, let's focus from the phone. The good about, thing about the phone is the focusing. <laughs> you don't need to use the dial from the uh, uh, binocular. Okay, you don't need to turn the turn knob okay, from the bino. Okay, and yeah, see, this is the surrounding. see that uh, that little camera on the side of the uh, surveillance camera okay and that's it okay so uh, as we see this is how the uh, bino uh, can be taken a picture from okay uh, I focus a little bit from the uh, phone and yeah uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video okay and I understand that the 200 times is, uh, are, are not that much, but they are okay. They're just okay. Just fine. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye.